Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to add Fonto Awesome to your Unique 5 app. As you can see on my screen, I've written a text version of this uh, video, of this tutorial. So if you prefer reading instead of watching me doing these steps, uh, feel free to click on the link which is in the description and which will uh, get you to this actual tutorial. So. Uh, in this video, I will just follow my tutorial, but uh, of course I will show you exactly what I'm doing and how to integrate uh, the Fonto Awesome library to your Unique 5 app. So the very first thing we will do is that we will create a very new Unique project. But of course, if you already have uh, your Unique project, you can uh, skip this step until we go to the second part of the tutorial, which is really to integrate Fonto Awesome into your app. So let's start with a new blank project. So what I'm doing is I'm just copying this uh, command in my terminal. Here, when uh, Yonic uh, prompts you with this, you can just select Angular. It's downloading uh, the dependencies. Here, you can select Yes to use Capacitor to target native iOS and Android. You can just uh, let your computer loading the dependencies until it's finished. Okay, so the Yonic project has been created. It can take a few moments before it's done. It depends on your internet connection. So what we will do now is that we will just execute this command to enter in our uh, project. And we will execute with the command Yonic serve our uh, project, our Yonic project to see if everything is correctly configured and installed in our blanked uh, project. Okay, as you can see, everything is working perfectly. We have our uh, default uh, Unix project. So now we can go to the next step, which is integrating Fonto Awesome. But before that, we will open our uh, new project in Visual Studio Code or any other text uh, or code editor you have. On my side, it's Visual Studio Code. So. I will go to this folder, I think, this one. And finally, I select my newly created Unique project. Okay, it's opened in Visual Studio Code. Let's continue to follow the tutorial. So as you can see, what I'm telling here is to install the Font Awesome library into your uh, Unique project. So to do that, we will use npm which will just import and install all of the files uh, required to use Fonto Awesome into your Unique project. So you just, sorry, you just copy all of that into your terminal again. You can close the Unique server and you paste all of the command I've actually written here. You just wait while uh, all of the dependencies are uh, downloading. Okay, so now our dependencies are installed, so we can actually use them into our project. So it's the next part of the tutorial. We will just copy these lines and we will paste them into our app module file. This file is located in src app and app module, as you can see here. And you can just paste the import lines in this file, which will allow us to uh, use Fonto Awesome into our project. Save this page. And the next part is to create a constructor that will call the FA icon library to again use it in our project. So you can just replace this line and paste the new code in here. Okay, perfect. And finally, don't forget to add the Fonto Awesome module in the list of imports. So just here. Perfect, so now that we are done with the app module file, we will just add the Fonto Awesome module into 
the page we want to use it in. So this page for the new unique project is the home page. When you create a new project with unique, you always have a default page created. In this case, it's called home. It's located in SRC app home. And we will start by updating the home module page to add the font awesome module. So you can still follow my tutorial and go to this step where we will import the font awesome module into our page module. Just paste it here and don't forget to add the module into the list of modules like this. Save the file and we are basically done with all of the imports of the font awesome module. So you will have to do this step every time you want to integrate the font awesome module into a page. Uh, by this step, I mean importing the font awesome module in the module page. In our case, it was home module.ts. Okay, everything is done. So now we can test if the font awesome is well integrated by just pasting a font awesome code. And as you can see, we have an HTML tag just created for the font awesome library. We can test it in this case with the home icon, as you can see here. We will open the home page.html and we will just replace the container code with our FA icon. You can replace the home, as I said, by uh, another icon and all of the icons are displayed on the Font Awesome website that I've linked in my tutorial, as you can see here, if it loads. <laughs> okay, perfect. You can use all of the free icons of the Font Awesome library. In my case, I will test with the home icon, but if you want to use another one, for example, uh, this one, you just copy this instead of home in your FI icon uh, elements and it will show this icon instead. Let's test it with the home icon. To test, you can just do a unique serve. Perfect, as you can see, the home icon is well displayed in the center of our screen. If it's the case, it means the Font Awesome library is uh, fully integrated into your unique project. If it's not the case, uh, feel free to watch the video again. I'm sure you missed a part. Uh, it's not uh, that complicated. And the very uh, great uh, value of Font Awesome is that you can actually uh, interact with the icon using CSS. So for example, if you want to change the size of your icon, you can put a size with font size. You can change its color uh, pretty easily like this. So uh, it's a very good value to integrate Font Awesome into your unique project. I hope you liked this uh, video. It was my very first tutorial about Unique. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, don't forget to like the video, to subscribe to my channel if you want more uh, Unique tutorial. And uh, I also have a mailing list in which I send one uh, email per week. It's a very good value and it's only about Unique. So uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to this mailing list. The link is in the description. We are done with this video, so happy coding with the Unique framework and see you later in another video or in another mail if you are a subscriber of my mailing list.